Hello guys, it's Ray J and this is how to make your hard drive visible in Windows. You may be wondering why your hard drive that you've just installed isn't showing on your computer. There are usually two reasons for this. One being that it's a hardware issue, such as the hard drive is damaged or the cables are loose or it's just faulty in general. And then secondly, it could be a software issue. In this video, I will be resolving the software issue, allowing the hard drive to be seen and then usable in Windows. So I've got a 3TB Western Digital hard drive. However, as you can see, the drive is nowhere to be seen in my computer. But when you go to Device Manager, you'll notice that it actually is showing. All of my hard drives are here and listed. And this is the one that isn't showing on my computer, but this is definitely the hard drive that I'm looking for. So what we're gonna need to do is to go onto Control Panel, for Windows XP, Vista and 7, you can access this by clicking the Start menu and selecting Control Panel from the list in the right margin. On Windows 8, 8.1 and 10, right click on the bottom left hand corner and then select Control Panel. Once you're on Control Panel, you'll want to go on System Security, then look below Administrative Tools, and then click on Create and Format Hard Disk Partitions. Bear in mind you won't be able to see the 3TB hard drive on Windows XP. This is because Windows XP maxes out on accessing 2TB and doesn't support GPT. But on Windows Vista and later versions of Windows, you can see these partitions. If you have a hard drive that is 2TB or over, it will show you a message when you click on Disk Management, saying GPT or NBR. For any drive that's over 2TB, it will give you this option. You want to select GPT. This is the most advanced setting which will allow you to make the most of your hard drive. As you can see, I have all of my hard drives listed here with their names and they're all allocated. But below, you can see that I have a new hard drive which is unallocated. Do not do anything with the already allocated drives. We only want to touch the new unallocated drives. Otherwise, you could end up with a lot of data or having to reinstall Windows and nobody wants that. So what we need to do is to create a new simple volume. Right click on the unallocated drive and then click on new simple volume. Follow the wizard through and you can assign the drive a letter. I'll be selecting T. Now you can give the hard drive a name. I'll be calling mine storage, but you can call yours whatever you want. You'll want to format the drive. You can either do this with a quick format or a full format. Bear in mind that the full format will take a long time, especially if you have a large hard drive like myself. However, it will be thorough and I personally recommend doing a full format for a fresh hard drive. This is so Windows can get an accurate reading on the drive to see if there are any potential problems or bad sectors but it is up to you. Once the drive has been formatted, you'll be able to see it in my computer and you'll now be able to fully use the drive. If you enjoyed or found this video useful, then please leave a like, drop a comment, or even subscribe as it does mean a lot. I hope you guys have a great day and thanks for watching. This has been a Ray J.